It's a magical moment in photograph 51. Scientist Rosalind Franklin sees the double helix of a DNA molecule. It's a perfect X. It's a helix. Franklin was a chemist with a doctorate from Britain's Cambridge University. It was the early 1950s. She was in her 30s when she was working on DNA research. The play shows Franklin working tirelessly and mostly independently on her research. She often clashed with male colleagues who she felt treated her dismissively. Daniela Topol is the director of the play. She wasn't called Dr. Franklin, she was called Miss Franklin. She wasn't allowed to eat in the senior common room. All the men were allowed to eat at the senior common room. That absolutely crippled her and created an environment where then she didn't trust the people she was working with. Franklin tried to figure out how the double helix worked, but wasn't able to. Without her permission, Franklin's co-worker Maurice Wilkins secretly showed her photos to American scientist James Watson. He and Francis Crick, his British research partner, were trying to build the DNA model. When Watson saw the photographs, he realized that DNA is a double-stranded helix, and the two were able to complete the model. It works. It's, I can't believe it. It's life unfolding right before us. Franklin learned about their breakthrough from her colleague Wilkins. Was the model was that just beautiful? Yes. In 1962, Crick, Watson, and Wilkins received the Nobel Prize in Medicine. It was four years after Franklin had died from cancer at the age of 37. The award is given only to people who are alive. During the ceremony, no credit was given to Franklin. And Watson has largely dismissed her role. But Crick, who died in 2004, has said Franklin was only two steps away from solving the DNA puzzle. Topol hopes people who see the play will not only learn about Franklin, but will have a better understanding of her. I want people to think about everything that Rosalind Franklin accomplished and how much more she could have accomplished had she not been isolated and marginalized and misunderstood and discriminated against. Franklin was a pioneer whose valuable DNA photograph helped change the world of genetics forever. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.